or they got trying to be bad. This is someone trying to make you laugh. Whatever you say, they pop up. Both you girls are playing um, girls who were with Biggie mm -hmm. with stormy relationship with him. <laughs> How do you guys think Faith and Kim handled that? All the cheating and the lying. You know, I, first of all, I never got the chance to beat the girl up in real life, you know, when that happened to me. Yeah. So that moment was for all the ladies who never got their time to beat, you know, the, the chance to do that. She handled it well, you know, she, she tried, they were married, and you definitely don't want to, you know, leave your marriage, right? You want to try as hard as possible. They broke up, she was trying to give him some time to grow up, and people don't know, but she really wanted to be back with him, and he wanted to be with her. It just... It just didn't, didn't happen out. because he passed away. So yeah, yeah, it makes it so much more tragic and sad to me. Yeah, that's it's true. It's hard what for, about Kim? For Kim, yeah. you know, her relationship, as, as you see in the yeah. movie, is a <laughs> constant roller coaster up mm -hmm. and down. She genuinely loved that man, though. She she loved Biggie for who he was. And just, I think that it's hard because, you know, she never got to be what she wanted to be in his life. Right. You know, I think she really wanted to be, you know, the first lady in his life because he was that in hers. and that feeling of you know not feeling good enough it was hard I think as a character you know I had to really think about feelings that I had had previously of feeling you know like you're never gonna be good enough for somebody or you know they're not gonna give you that same love back yeah, that you're giving them so it's hard you know ladies we've all been yeah. there you know we're like about to have a session like girl exactly. you know but in a way I think these women represent strength because right. you know so look at how you know they came out of it yeah. and you know and at the same end they still loved him you know right. and it's, that's harder to do I think so many people it's easy to say oh I'm done with you yeah. and walk away yeah, Kim you. didn't give yeah. up you know she was still there throughout everything. still there through, to, to the end when he was gone we were at that funeral feeling a loss in our hearts so it's interesting why do you guys think that he chose to marry Faith and not Kim no, um, I, I really can't say like why he chose the choices, but I think that what's interesting about the story is that it shows that he loved both sides of a woman. Not yeah. just one side of the woman, the yeah. faith side, the more sophisticated, glam side. And then Kim was there from the beginning, grew up right yeah. around a corner. She right. was that hood, ride or die. You know, even though we fight, you still, yeah. you know, coming back, you love me, you know that. I think that's why I, and he I think didn't it's, marry her. Yeah. I think that, you know. Honestly, yeah. I don't she know. was like his homie, yeah. you know? And he looked at Faith, like Dennis had said in the movie, you know, I appreciate that too, that they said that when I was yeah. drinking the water, that she looked like something out of the movies. Like, he looked at her like mm -hmm. something that he couldn't have, mm -hmm. whereas Kim was ride or die. He knew she yeah. was right there. He knew she was gonna it's be true. there. She when was like one of the boys. you're available to a man, they take you yes. for granted. Oh, they think you'll always be yeah. there. You know, so the minute he was like, I can, I can have Faith, marry me, you yeah. know? So I think that's why. Yeah, it was tough for both of them. Yeah, though. yeah, right. Because being the number one wasn't much easier or yeah. better than being number <laughs> two. <laughs> One thing we want to say, since this is for the local, you know, this is Brooklyn, you know, y'all have to really support. Please it's a legend, out, it's a legend, and we're gi giving this story to the world, not right. just to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. You know, we all supported, loved his music. Mm -hmm. It's just important for people to see this was a real person. Biggie was a man who had a dream. He he, he really wanted to be the man that he mm -hmm. should have been. And before his life could really reach its full potential, it was cut short. And it's just kind of cool that to show people what he went through in his whole journey. And you feel like a fly on the wall through the whole thing, you really feel like you're sitting there living his life with him. You're on the journey with him. Yeah. So, experience that journey, y'all. Yeah. We love Biggie. Yeah. <laughs>